daytime fireworks. First pitch is coming up. A chance here to check out the starting lineup for the visiting Pirates. Thoughts, EK? Anyone stand out? Well, I think you better look out for that cleaner. Stepping in, Cody Vaccaro. He'll get to take his first Cody cuts here. Vaccaro. Before the first pitch, a check hey. at first. And he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. And again, a throw. No, he's keeping in there. particularly close tabs on him. Must think something's up. And yet another no, throw safe. over. A dive, but he's back. First offering on its way. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. And Eric, as we take a look at the Reds entering play here tonight, they come in in a real funk to start the year. Still searching for what's been an elusive first win. And it hasn't been a real good start to the homestand for them either. They were swept in the just completed three game series, so they're definitely in a bit of a tailspin. One and one, here it is. No nope. offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. So let's take a peek at the umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Ricky Holiday. Well, kind of strangely, Holiday has a bit of a reputation for rewarding the high strike. You know, and that can really upset the hitter sometimes because the pitcher isn't usually trying to throw it there. So we'll see if any of that shows up. And now a slider in there for a called third strike. And into the box, Cody Vaccaro. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Well, you know, it never feels good to go down on strikes, especially looking. I wouldn't be surprised to see him be a little more aggressive in this at-bat. And a good effort on the dive that time, but this will get by him for a base hit. A little bad luck there defensively. If that's hit at an infielder, it's a double play. But instead, now you're in hot water here with one away. Andrew McCutcheon is into the box. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Maybe they have a pretty good idea of how to attack him again right here. And this is swung on and missed his fifth strikeout already. And there are two gone in the inning. Mikey Matsu stands in with two on and two out here in the third. And you know, some guys just get better with runners in scoring position and two outs. This is a big at bat for him right here, even though it's still early. Skied into straightaway right, moving under it. G. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Miguel Molina stands in again. He got a hold of one and went yard in his first plate appearance. Here's the one and two delivery. Hit to short. In time to first, and there are two away. The batter, number six. Jose Peraza stands in for the second time. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, he put a good swing on it last time, so we'll see if he can make one fall here. To short. On to Kipnis at He's second, out. and the inning is over. Rysel Iglesias is at the plate now. Flied out in his first at bat. Hit hard to short. Vaccaro takes it in. Throw He's on out. the first takes care of him. Two very quick outs to start the home fifth. Cody Vaccaro will start out the inning here for the Pirates to be followed by Andrew McCutcheon waiting on deck. And in a pretty close game so far, they'd love to see this guy get on base so they can get a rally started to get back in this thing. Ground ball sent back up the middle. A diving try, but he can't haul it in. It's through for a base hit. Andrew McCutcheon, ready to take another shot, went down on strikes his last time up. It was a pretty big strikeout, too, because he had a chance to drive in a run, so I'm sure he's going to be thinking about that missed opportunity for a little while. And they'll run him down and tag him for the out. 
Darren Hathaway gets a shot now with two men on and two away here in inning number seven. And we'll see here if he can come through. It can be discouraging to see opportunities like this late in a ball game go on. Kipnis has it. On to first, oh. and the Reds rally comes up short here. Pedro Villarreal will be summoned from the bullpen now as he'll take over to start inning number eight. Cody Vaccaro will stand in, and it's a bullpen game now. Both starters out as we begin inning number eight. Yeah, both starters are out, and since we're tied, both starters not going to be involved in the decision. Hit hard up the middle. And that'll get through into center. So there's your possible go-ahead run on base now to lead off the inning. Andrew McCutcheon digs in. He reached on a single and would later wind up scoring in his last at-bat. Here comes the 1-1. There goes the runner. Now a ball crushed high in the air, deep to left, way back there. And that one is long gone. It's a two-run shot to straight. Miguel Molina will stand in now in what could be a real make-or-break situation. And you think at this point you have to get something out of this inning. The further you get into that bullpen, the tougher it's going to be to claw back from this deficit. He'll go to the bag for one, on to first, oh, but safe. not in time as he's in there ahead of the throw. Right to him. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. So it's no runs on a hit, no error. Great look there at nighttime in Cincinnati as we head to the ninth inning for this one. Digging in, Cody Vaccaro. He singled his last time up. Cody Vaccaro. Chop foul at the plate, strike one. Before the 0-1, he'll check hey. on first. And a dive, but he's back. In the air to center field and deep back is the center fielder. Back he goes, but this is going to be a home run. Two-run shot to straightaway center as it is now 7-3. Wow, these guys have really come in here and just put it to this pitching staff. We've seen guys jumping on pitches like this all game long. Well, a pretty good offensive show of force in this one. Probably at least a couple of players deserving, but gentlemen, let's go ahead and give this man the nod as our top player of the game. Yeah, just a great all-around game for him here. You'll see on the line Two score, four hits, score including that big home run. Uh, you'd have to say he was instrumental in leading these guys to the victory. Both teams getting their final warm-ups in as we welcome you back to the ML. Live from the banks of the Ohio, we welcome you to Great American Ballpark in Cincinnati. Tonight, game two of this three-game series between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Cody Vaccaro will stand in. And as you can see, the big number there, he's up over 400 to begin the campaign. First pitch is a breaking ball taken down and away for ball one. And Eric, as we take a look at the Reds entering play here tonight, they come in in a real funk to start the year. Still searching for what's been an elusive first win. And in terms of the homestand, it's been four games. Meanwhile now, this is a fair ball down the line in left, and that ought to be good for extra bases. And a relay to the plate. And they're not going to get him. He's in there at the plate. And he is out at third. So credit him with a double. So a runner at first with one man gone. And standing in is the on-base machine, first baseman Joey Votto. 
Runner at first here, one man out. Hit to short, reined in. Kipnis out. The relay on to first, the double play, and the side is retired. Boy, oh boy. One hits off. Cody Vaccaro strolls into the box. Thought he had a triple in his first at bat, but he was gunned down trying for third. Yeah, well, he wound up getting gunned down, but he did hit the ball well, and he's going to look to do the same thing right here. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Hits this one hard the other way. He gets dirty, but he can't make the play. It's a base hit. And they'll extend their lead even further as the runs Three. in to score from third. And not in time. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Andrew McCutcheon. He scored after reaching on a walk in his first at-bat. A throw behind the runner at yep, second. And a dive, but he's back in. And the runner's breaking for third. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. So it's two runs on one hit. No air. Leading off the inning, Michael Lorenzen. And they'll need him to get something going here. Well, you know, they've fallen behind by quite a bit in the early going here, so they need a good inning here to get them back in the game. A quick out oh. number one. The right fielder. Mark G will stand in. He singled to lead off the home first. And you know, guys, I just love the way he went the other way with that. Now I'm interested to see if he has a similar approach in this at-bat. This one's down to third. Harrison has it. Throw on to first, two gone. Striding into the box, Cody Vaccaro coming off the clutch. Two-run single his last time up. And they take another single right here, too, no doubt. Runner in scoring position, so any ball into the outfield probably gets him home. Swing, and he pops him up over toward foul territory. Ibar is under this one as he has it right in front of the dugout for the second out. Cody Vaccaro. Go bat now. He popped out in foul ground last time. Yeah, his swing definitely broke down a little bit last time. He got way underneath the ball. It'll be interesting to see if he can make that adjustment and stay on top of the ball here. The second for one. Back to Votto, but it's not in time as they settle for just the one. Into the box now. Andrew McCutcheon. And he'll be looking to add on to his two RBIs from earlier. Runner goes for second. Hit the other way out toward right field. G has a beat on it. Makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. And he will score on the sacrifice fly. Well, that's all he's hoping to do right here. Mikey Matsu gets another crack right here. He's got a hit in three tries to this point. Two count. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. So they scratch across a run here on no hits, no errors, and a man left. Ready now. Cody Vaccaro. Already two for two. He looked to add on right here. Singrani pauses. Here comes the first pitch. And that's in there for strike one. Well, you know, you hear it all the time because it's true. First pitch strikes are so important. It really changes the complexion of the at-bat for not only the pitcher, but the hitter as well, especially when you've got a good hitter up there. Ah, he'll try to take control of the inside part of the plate with the fastball as he backs him off a bit. Well, nothing wrong with that. As much as it pains me to say, the pitchers have the right to work inside. That's lifted the other way out to left. Hathaway will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. 
The offensive star of the night for the Bucks. well, it was this guy right here, Andrew McCutcheon. Strike a pose, he's our tops player of the game. Yeah, he only had 